Welcome everyone. This is session eight of Machine Learning Zoom Camp, and in this session we will talk about neural networks and deep learning. In the previous sessions, we talked about tabular data. So tabular data looks like that. We have a table. So in our case, uh, it was usually a CSV file, and we had some columns there with different values. So for example, in session two, we'll be talking about uh, predicting the price of a car. So we had columns like model, make, miles per gallon in city, miles per ga gallon outside of city, and then manufacturer suggested a retail price, which was the, the price we were trying to predict. So it was in all these sessions before it was a table. The, the methods we used, like linear regression, logistic regression, three based models, they were all for tabular data. But in this session, we will look at a different kind of data. We will look at images. And this is uh, the kind of images we will be dealing with in this session. These will be images of clothes. And we want to predict that in this particular case, this is an image of a t-shirt. So the project we will do will be a classification project. It will be a multi-class classification. We will build a model that will tell if an image belongs to one of 10 different clothing categories. And the use case we can have for that could be, let's uh, again think about online classified website. So this is a website and the user comes to the website and they want to create a listing in the fashion category. So let's say user wants to sell a t-shirt. So they come to our website, they upload a picture of this t-shirt. So there is a place where they can upload pictures. Usually it looks like that. So users just click on this, and then they get to upload an image. The user we have, they get this picture, they upload, upload it. And what we want to do is we want to have a service that we can call fashion classification, fashion classification service. So this service will get this picture and it will reply with a suggested category. So then user uploads the picture and then we automatically suggest that the category is a t-shirt. This way we will help the user to select the category faster. For them, all they need to do will be just upload a picture and then they just click publish. So our goal is to make it simpler for the user to create a listing. For this purpose, we will use a model. So this fashion classification service will contain a neural network. And this neural network will look at the image and will predict a category of this image. The data set we will use for training this model is a clothing data set, a fashion data set. This data set, uh, this is how the images look like. This data set has uh, quite a lot of images. Actually, there are 5,000 of them, over 20 different classes, but we will not use this particular data set. We will use a smaller data set, a subset of this data set, which contains 10 most popular classes from that data set. And um, we already have train validation and test uh, folders here, in which there are different images. Say, if we go to train data set, we have 10 different folders and each folder contains images of this specific category. So if we go to t-shirt, let me just pick one of the t-shirts. Then we see that this is a t-shirt. If we pick any, pick some other file, let's say this one, this is also a t-shirt. I already cloned this uh, data set. So actually to get this data set, what you need to do is um, go to, I have it linked actually. So this is uh, the, the repo, it's a small data set. Just click on this and you get the address and then you clone it. So I already cloned it. So we have here, we have training, we have validation, we have test. So if we go to train, there are these 10 different folders. So we have categories like dress, hats, long sleeves, outwear, pants, shirts, shoes, shirts, skirts, and t-shirts. And here, if you go to hats, it's mostly cups. So this is basically how it looks like. And uh, these are t-shirts. And then of course we have in validation, we have the same 10 categories. And we also have images. These are different images. So we don't need to do train test validation split here. We already have done the split. This is what we will use for training a model here. One thing before we start, actually, I want to say that in uh, 
this session, we will put um, more emphasis on the practical part. And neural networks are quite complex. There is a lot of theory behind how they work, and it's not really possible to cover it in just a few hours. So that's why I will show uh, how to train such a model, but I will not be able to cover all the theoretical foundation of neural networks. For that, if you're interested in uh, knowing and learning how they work, you can go to this uh, course. It's called CS200. 31N, which is a course from Stanford, which is which goes uh, in details how actually neural networks and in particular convolutional neural networks for images for visual recognition work. And there is uh, the notes here are quite good. There are also videos, and if you're in, really interested in theory, you can go there. Sometimes during the session here, I will say okay, I will not cover this in more details, but you can refer to these notes, and then I will go and show which particular module you need to read if you want to read more. So this is the data set uh, that we will use and uh, maybe I will go quickly over the materials we want to cover in this uh, session. So in this session we will use TensorFlow and Keras for training the model. TensorFlow is a framework for deep learning models. So we'll use that and then we'll see how to use a model that is already trained to create this one. Yeah, and then uh, we will talk about some theory a bit to give you some intuition how they work and what kind of layers are there. Of course, I will not be able to cover a lot of uh, theory there, but at least I want to give you some intuition what exactly is happening under the hood there. And then uh, after that, we will talk about transfer learning, which is about getting a model that was previously trained and tuning it a bit, changing it a bit to solve our particular problem. So this is the approach we will take. Then we will talk about different uh, parameters, uh, adding more layers, um, regularization, and generating more data from existing data and things like this. Yeah, that's the plan. So we'll have quite a lot of uh, videos here, uh, 13. So let's get started.